Malawi is known as the warm heart of Africa because of its natural beauty and its people. Malawi remains one of the poorest countries in the world, despite making significant economic and structural reforms to sustain economic growth. The economy is heavily dependent on agriculture, employing nearly 80% of the population, and it is vulnerable to external shocks, particularly climatic shocks. More than 2.6 million people cannot meet their food needs, and too many children risk malnutrition. There are many issues uh, that face uh, our children and mothers in Malawi. Malnutrition levels in the country, uh, especially in the communities, is, uh, is uh, high. For example, if I, take, uh, if I look at the stunting uh, level as uh, one of the indicators for nutrition, the stunting levels are still high. Uh, we are now at 37%, uh, which is uh, high as compared to the uh, WHO uh, thresholds. Since 2010, the Tiwalere projects have harnessed support from the United States Agency for International Development, USAID, and our private sector partners, New Skin and Procter & Gamble, to help feed the children improve children's health, nutrition, and hygiene. On June 1st, 2022, the United States Agency for International Development, USAID Malawi, awarded Feed the Children a $46 million award, Let Them Grow Healthy, made up of USAID, total estimated amount of $23 million and an estimated leverage amount of $23 million from our private sector partners. The overall goal of Let Them Grow Healthy, translated in vernacular as Akulenditanzi, is to improve the health and nutritional status of women and children with an emphasis on the first 1,000-day period from conception to the first two years of life, a critical period where stunting in children occurs. This program, we're actually adopting what we call a multisectoral nutrition programming approach. This is an approach that has actually been recommended by the government of Malawi, as well as USID, who are actually the financiers of this project. And the, uh, from that, what we do is uh, we actually use the scale-up uh, nutrition guidelines uh, that's the SUN uh, guidelines. At, at the same time, we also use what we call the care group model, where we use the caregivers to provide the basic nutrition education to the communities that we serve. We have this new grant will allow us to continue to promote health, nutrition, hygiene, and sanitation practices and expand access to nutritious, protein-rich food through 2027. Our private sector partners, New Skin and Procter & Gamble, are crucial to these efforts. In addition to other contributions, New Skin will provide $16.8 million to purchase more than 93,000 bags of Vita meal per month. To help communities access safe and clean water, Procter & Gamble has agreed to provide 4 million sachets per year, valued at $1,400,000. 
project ya Tsoba Noi taila ndila bwino kwa mbili pali azathu enaso amene akada mwabe madziyo ipa kuti ameneyo adzatha so mwina kupeza mwai kukhudza po buliza ni project imene ya Tsoba Noi in this project will be drilling uh, 100 new boreholes will be rehabilitating 50 boreholes but still that is not enough, especially looking at the current situation on the ground. As we'll be doing the infrastructure development, there will also be a need to provide the, at least an interim relief to those that may not actually be able to access uh, the, the, the boreholes at, at, at that one go. So the, the water searches will still play a critical role just to make sure that at least uh, from those that are getting their water from unsafe water sources, they can actually use the water purifiers to make at least the water clean and uh, for consumption at that point. Some of the households in the communities that we work with do not have food uh, on their table. So it's very important that uh, we share meals with them so that they should also have uh, access to food. Food means a lot to me because uh, for me I equate food with life. So there are these basic things that any human being would need to have. So the first one is food, then there is shelter, and then there is also a living. Meaning that if anyone doesn't have any of these three, actually that's a disaster. So. Whenever I have an opportunity to share a meal or food with somebody else, for me, I equate it as I'm actually saving a life.